Tell Owl R1. It was bright day in Equestria's place and the suns were up and clouds and in corner of Ponyville is peace of quiet where that roof cottage sits. Inside, Hugh, Unicron. I really don't want to devour Equestria today, said Unicron. She make apple pies and bring to Hugh Jelly. That's nice, dear, said Hugh. Outside there is two fools who are child of Hugh Jelly and Unicron. They was a Pegasus colt named Hotshot Jr. and a unicorn filly who is Superfly. The favoring game from them is to find Spike and beat him up, so that is what they did with sticks and rocks. Ow, ow, Twilight help. Spike ran to library, but is gone, T-Rex blew it up. Now children, said Unicron, who is in apron on front porch. Play nice. Yes, Mama, said Hotshot Jr. and Superfly. They run off to plays. Hugh Jelly likes to relax with newspaper after work. He works at Jam Factory that he made, and it's supply jam to all Equestria ponies. And Unicron is very good housewife because she can cook good pastry and eat all unwant sales pony. The house is most quiet. Unicron washes the floor and the dishes, and Hugh Jelly watches TV and smoke a jelly pipe, and when Unicron is done, she says, I don't feel like devouring Equestria. That's good, sweetie. I'm proud of you. Then Unicron settles on couch to watch televisions, and they watch together. Later comes over, Lyra Heat sings, and bon 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 bon. Howdy, neighbors, shrumped Lyra. Howdy there, Hugh says. Say me and my heterosexual life partner were having a potluck at our pony church, would you two like to come? Hugh nods. Oh, honey, that sounds just swell, doesn't it? Unicron nod. Lyra grinned wide. Okay, good, it's on Saturday at noon, don't be late, Kay. Bring a desert. We will. And Unicron went to find her cookbook for making a desert. Just when Hugh Jellius puts his slippers in and go up to bed, the door knocks and who could it be but Hotshot Jr. and Superfly. What did you kids do now, said Unicron out of the kitchen. We're sorry, both kids with ears back and sat in hoof at ground. Come on, Hugh says, and taps his hoof. Out with it. She started it, said Hotshot Jr. Nah, -uh, it was him. Unicron come up by Hugh Jelly who click his tongue and say I don't care who started it, I know the jam force so you will tell me the truth before I extract it from your head, savvy. Hotshot Jr. and Superfly, both they know their dad is bluffed but he's also mad and also mom could eat them again so they says it true. Well uh, we were playing with Spike, yeah like we always do with sticks and stuff, and we maybe got carried away, and we're really really sorry. Hugh sighed and rolled his eyes and look at wife, you'd better show us kids. So Hugh Jelly and Unicron Jelly and Hotshot Jelly Jr. and Superfly Jelly all get into Pony Car and drive down road. Hugh wave at neighbors who have no idea what the fuck he's driving, and he said hi to Post Pony who was Love Letter, and then they stop in front of place where the kids said to. He's over there. They show red smear everywhere. Oh kids. Hugh shock his head because kids would be kids. He looks at Unicron and they laugh, and hers is kind of evil so he has to turn up the jam force just a bit to keep her in line. Just then Twilight Sparkle Princess Twilight come down and says, what seems to be the trouble officer? Hugh shrugs because what can you do? Well, it looks like my kids were a little rough with your spike again. Twilight gaps in shock and look down. We're sorry, say the kids, and they try to look very, very sorry with big eyes and everything. Twilight frowns but sighs because what can you do? Well, I hope you kids learn a valuable lesson about friendship and pony, she said. And don't let me catch this happening again, okay? They nodded. Then Twilight says to Unicron, how are you today? I'm not even thinking about devouring Equestria, Unicron said with smile. Good to hear it. Anyway, I'll see you and Hugh later, okay? Take care. So Hugh and Unicron and Hotshot Jr. and Superfly get back into car and take off. And then there is just Princess Twilight stand over ground and she frowns again. Now where am I going to get another Shia LaBeouf? And there was never another sequel ever ever again never. The total end for reals!